Yo, what plant is that? What plant is hey, that? Hey, that plant is that's that? That's a pretty flower. What plant is that? Dude. What? What is that? That's neat. Greetings. Here we have a plant called many names. Heal all, self heal, carpenter's herb, Hercules wound wart, but the scientific botanical name is Prunella vulgaris. It is also called vulgar in Latin, meaning common. And it is called common because it is widely distributed throughout the world from the east to the west, north and south, and it is used medicinally wherever it appears. Now you will see this plant has an interesting pyramid-like flower stalk. It has a square stem and the leaves of it are opposite. Now if you go in on the veins of the leaves, at the younger stages of development, they seem to be alternating the veins themselves. But on the more mature leaves, you will see the veins are opposite one another as if they grow in to meet one another. They help a great deal with balance as they restructure and balance themselves as they mature. At the top, once they bloom, they have a beautiful tiny violet, purplish, royal bluish type of color, but they also appear in pink and white colors. And that is due to the soil content and it performing some sort of mutation. The edges of the leaves are slightly toothed, slightly toothed, and at the same time they are yet smooth or they are untoothed at all. And you may find both leaves with teeth and leaves without teeth on the same plant. To my knowledge there is no poisonous lookalikes. Heal All comes in under the category of edible and medicinal. The leaves can be eaten raw or cooked in soups, salads, stews, but they're somewhat bitter, not too bitter actually, but just a little bit of washing or even soaking them in cool room temperature water for about three to five minutes, it can remove a lot of those bitter tannins in the leaves. A cold water infusion is made of the leaves, whether they're fresh or dry, as a refreshing type of drink. Personally, I like the flowers. They're sweet and it's like uh, pretty much like honey. As far as the medicinal uses, traditionally, Heal All, Self Heal, Prunella vulgaris has been used to treat wounds, infections, cuts, burns and it has been used as an expectorant which means it helps to clear mucus and phlegm from the body it is anti-inflammatory antipyretic which means it reduces fever and and this function is believed to be operating on the hypothalamus of the brain in reducing the fever and in modern laboratories even in studies as far as or as recent as the beginning of this year, 2022, compounds from Heal All have been found to possess a wide range of biological activities, including but not limited to being antimicrobial, immunosuppressive, which means it suppresses the immune system, which is exciting for those who suffer from autoimmune diseases or in the cases of a cytokine storm where the body is attacking itself, it's, it's not recognizing its own immune system, so it's fighting against itself. And it's useful in this study in anti-cancer. And it's been shown to be cardioprotective, good for the heart, anti-allergenic or anti-allergic. And in other studies, it continues to be helpful in preventing diabetes complications, to treat herpes, alleviate pain in the throat, accelerate wound healing, it's been used in inflammatory bowel diseases, Crohn diseases, upset stomach, colic, swelling, kidney disease. It is used in Korea as an antispasmodic, so it will help you to stop from shaking and 
It is also used there for tuberculosis and for goiter, which is a thyroid swelling disease. And in China, it is used for Hashimoto's thyroiditis. The mineral for the thyroid is iodine. So if you're wondering, if you have any issues with the thyroid, the essential mineral that you need is iodine. Now, so far, I have not found anything confirming that Brunella vulgaris has iodine in it, but I have found that it works with iodine as far as the utilization of iodine and in environments with high iodine content, like being next to the ocean, it protects from iodine-associated oxidative injury, which you will get in too much iodine that starts to oxidize and it will cause an issue in the thyroid whether that be swelling or whether that be a lack of function of the thyroid it, it gets overloaded and heal all it really is a wonderful plant that you could just walk right past without ever noticing there's much more to this plant which I may do a video a part two later on but just keep in mind at this moment that this plant is the kitchen sink. And the saying, as it said, to throw the whole kitchen sink at it, this plant would be that sink. And it would be a good start in that approach. Thank you for your time. Hope you learned something. Peace. If you have any existing health concerns, take that into consideration. If you are taking any medications at this time, take that into consideration and allow a two to three hour window before consuming plants medicinally. Do not take anything that you are not sure of or that you have not properly identified. If you have any further concerns, do not consume the plant. If you would like to know what other medical implications may come about from going back to a more natural life to a more traditional lifestyle after you have properly identified and know the uses of plants thoroughly and you are still concerned, of course, consult your local drug dealing doctor.